Hello and welcome back. So we have successfully created the server of Express.js and now uh, let's see how to connect to MongoDB. Okay, so where should I write the code of MongoDB connection? So let me write here MongoDB connection. So let's say if you have MongoDB URL, okay then uh, what you do is mongoose dot connect to the mongodb url dot then and dot catch it's a promise based call so it's like this uh, then means a successful connection to mongodb and catch is a sense uh, some error while connecting to mongodb so then we'll receive a response so what you can do is for confirmation console.log uh, let's say connected to MongoDB uh, successfully connected to MongoDB successfully and if you have a problem in connection if you get the error so let's say console dot error of error and also let's process dot exit of one so what is this is stop the node.js process okay if you're unable to connect to mongodb there is no question of uh, keep up and running your server okay if you're unable to connect to mongodb then your server also gets stopped automatically okay fine um that's fine and something uh let me run back here see it is successfully connected to mongodb you got a confirmation because we are using nodemon so nodemon automatically restart your server restarting your server and we got a confirmation connected successfully and mongodb as well i mean started and connected to mongodb successfully that's all um, along with this you can also add few options here uh, it's like this new MongoDB URL and uh, new URL parser. Some more options you'll give generally. Mm, use use topology. I think it's removed from the current version. Maybe uh, that's not required. Okay, this is fine. So we have successfully connected to MongoDB from your application. So now it's time to make the API creation okay so what I do is I'll create the a folder called router oh I made a mistake I create a folder in node modules don't create there create in server so new directory called router so in this I create a file type strip just say API router okay so this api router i'll just say import express from express and then constant api router um, of type express dot router is equal to express dot router and let's say export export default api router okay and in between you have to write a, a logic so how to configure this api router with my server is somewhere um, you write here router configuration see when you closely look into the api the api slash v1 slash products correct so up to here i'll configure with my router so i'll say app dot use so here just say slash api slash v1 okay and this will be api router okay so slash api slash v1 redirecting to api router so here I'll write a logic, just say API router dot get request, just, just for your confirmation. So 
so let's say request of type uh, uh, express dot request and response of type express dot response okay so this say respond the status of 200 successful and dot json so let's say uh, i'll just make a message here just for confirmation welcome to api router okay see observe very closely here also get request for slash and my server also get request for slash so when this response will come and when this response will come we have to verify now okay let's see so when this request will come in server.tss directly a get request of slash application itself slash request it means i hope uh, application up and running yeah so applications get request slash so when you go here see uh, this normal uh, slash request and enter you got welcome to express server big basket application that is this one so when can i get this response is it is not just get get slash it is api router slash and for what api router is configured is api slash v1 so the thing is it's not a simple slash it is in front of that something is prepended as this one so what i do is api slash v1 slash enter then you get a api router okay so that that's confirmation you need to know okay fine so now we successfully connected to mongodb and we have uh, made a basic configuration of api router okay so let's make this each routing configuration i mean api configuration over here so let's make that in the next video